This is Bentley. Thanks for joining me. Man, I had to do a video. Uh, this young man hit me up and he's 19. He was like, King, I appreciate you, brother. You really are inspiring me. And I was like, wow. He asked me a couple questions. So I, you know, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, break it down. He asked me, he's like, I seen a video, you know, one video, one video in particular he's seen, uh, I was talking about Groupon, and I showed uh, how I made 100000 with Groupon, over 100000 actually with Groupon, but I was still homeless, um, which was crazy. So I had to just do a video dedicated to that subject. You know, it's easy when you think about it. I made $100,000 with my hands, labor, sweat service blood you know i scrape my hand cut my hand uh arms body tie fatigue the whole nine saying that to say you know i made really i ain't gonna disclose on the number dollar amount i made but i made over a hundred thousand and you know that was each year i was making over a hundred thousand you know what i'm saying and that was just car washing it wasn't nothing else but I'm telling you, man, when you making money, your your think like my logical thinking because I grew up in church was to tithe, was to give, was to share. And then of course share the wealth, as I always hear. Um man, I, I, I gave to so many people. Uh, I mean personal friends from high school. I done borrowed money. I remember, I ain't gonna say her name, but I say the incident. She told me she was on probation. She had to go see her probation officer. I gave her 150. I never got that back. Um, one lady, uh, she turned around and um, uh, her tag expired and she had to pay the penalty. That was another 150. I never got that back. So many people I was giving money to because, you know, here I am. I'm like, man, I'm getting blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm making. 10 to 15 grand a month you know what I'm saying and tired and I'm like God gonna keep blessing me and then you know you know I was helping out as many people I can the taxes start coming in this is when it's like the wake up call now you gotta pay taxes they want 35% of your income um repairs bills were doubled they wouldn't they wouldn't like regular bills they were double bills in the sense of uh you know i was paying double on my water had to make constant repairs something was constantly going wrong bills were high because there were no ac on that place so sad there to say uh how did i wind up homeless i trusted somebody and it did it just didn't work that situation didn't work. I could have easily went and got a place, but I just said, hey, I was going to be myself and, you know, uh, just sleep in my car wash. And from that point on, you know, I was just doing my thing. So, I mean, the numbers are the numbers are not a lie. I did make 100000 just with one entity, Groupon. I, I, think, I think I probably made 40000 with Living Social. Um, I was just making so much money. So I, I'm saying that to say it's not to glorify myself. God bless me with that. But I learned something from this last time. People ask, like every year I constantly donated to disabled veterans. Every year I did the Toys for Tots. Every year I gave money to so many different churches around town. So many people around town. They cut off. I'm not giving out a dollar. I'm not taking out nothing out of my kids' mouth. Whatever I do now from this point is for my kids, it's for myself, it's for my family. And, you know, I didn't, you know, I learned, but I didn't really learn because I was in that uh, mindset of I grew up in church and God says to give. He don't want you to share your wealth, brother. Not not when you can't even take care of yourself. You know, you had them $5 pastors out there that want to take your money. I, I done ran to several of those. Uh, you have all those crazy women that want to literally tie you up in some kind of litigation or situation. Had those. You had uh, employees or, you know, 
I, I didn't really get sued by anybody, but you had people that was looking for a come up. Everybody's looking for a come up. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I didn't really realize that the money to me was my power. I realized that the money to me was just my tool for helping people. But that stage of my life is done. I'd rather help you with my voice. I'd rather help you with my experience than to help you with my wallet. So respect that. That's why I was homeless. And you know what I'm saying? Now it's a whole different lifestyle, whole different situation, whole different thinking. I ain't sharing my purse, as they say. And when I mean purse, that's what a fighter say. Fighters say the purse. I ain't talking about no women purse. I'm talking about that purse, that that moolah. I ain't sharing that. They ain't for sale. They ain't can't borrow it, can't get it. And I'm telling tell everybody who watched this video, guard your wallet. Help somebody in some other kind of way. You ain't got to help a person just, you know what I'm saying, financially. Because you feed them once, hell, they don't know how to fish. They ain't going to learn how to fish. So you got to feed them and teach them how to fish. And you feed them with the fishing. Hey, I'm Bentley. That's the reason why I was making over 100000 and was homeless. So I was giving, I was giving more money than people gave me love. You know what I'm saying? Gave me hugs. Hey, but and I told Maria this Maria Phillips, she can remember, she can vouch for it. Cause I told her, I was like, man, you know, she'll tell you. I'm <laughs> saying, anybody put a microphone in her face, put a camera in her face, she'll tell you. Hey, this is Bentley. I appreciate your time.